Hey everybody, it's just Von82. Sorry, the audio quality here is going to be terrible. I'm on the wrong side of the microphone. But someone asked me about the server I am using currently. And I figured I'd just show it off. Um, this is actually not the one I'm using. This is the spare. It feels weird. Let me check. Is this up all the way? Yep, that's up all the way. Feels a bit odd to say that I have two servers, but I'm a nerd, so I'm gaining extra nerd points. So, uh, it's a Dell Power Edge T110. There's actually a T110 too, but I got two of the regular ones. This is the one that's technically parts. So, let me just go over. There's a latch on the back top, and then you reach in, and you can open the hatch like that. There's actually then instructions on how to replace the RAM and all of that for those that might find that interesting. But it's a very, very simple thing. This one needs serious cleaning, as you can probably see. So let me give you a bit of a rundown. Can I make this get closer? Not without jostling the microphone, but you know, once again, not professional. So let's move it a bit closer so you can see something that actually took me a minute to figure out. So to remove the cowling over the processor, that's actually a fairly simple thing once you go, oh, I know how to not be stupid. This thing here, pull that back with your thumb, take it out, lift that out. I know, it's actually very, very simple. I'm just not, not right, so adjust that back. I, I do need to clean this, it does work. Um, right now I think it has four gigs of RAM in it. Let me check. That is potentially, yes, one gigabyte. So it's got four gigs of RAM in it. It is, of course, ECC RAM because it's a server. Focus. But the ECC RAM does make it run a little bit better. Now, the reason I was doing this was because someone was asking if this was viable as something to purchase, not just something that. I came across because I was very lucky that I have friends and oh yeah this is actually not passively cooled there's a giant fuck all fan right here and it pushes it through the cowling you know it is very very loud so my advice is don't put this where I have mine which is directly next to your microphone but then again the only person I'm talking to regularly is XV and you know he's my friend so he can go to hell the difference between a best friend and a good friend is, you know, whether or not you make fun of them to their face. Trust me. But, yeah, it's a very nice computer. And the reason I'm doing this little video is to let you know that if you wanted to build a Minecraft server of your own, for whatever reason, these are like a hundred bucks. And for some people, that's a lot. For other people, that's not a lot. But if if it's not a lot for you, you can probably afford to build a better one. Sorry, all of the shaking. If it's not a lot, that means you can afford to build a better server, which means you're not really worried about this. But these are good... Because the processor, if you want to upgrade it, this is the worst one. So it's like a dual core, it might be, um, 2.3 gigahertz. And the best you can get is the server version of an i5 with ivy bridge i think i i can't remember if it's ivy or sandy but it's fast and it works and you can fit 16 gigs of ram in here this only has four the ram is also cheap because it's old server ram and that's not that useful to many people anymore so i want to say that for 150 bucks not counting things like hard drives you could build yourself a functional minecraft server god my nails are terrible i'm glad that i don't know how to film so you can't see that but yeah, so for like $150, you can build yourself a nice standalone functional Minecraft server, but like you can also turn this into a home media server. I've got Windows 10 on my other one, and I know that there are lots of better things like Linux and stuff that I could be using for running Minecraft servers. I don't know how to use that, so that's why I'm not. This one actually, do I know where that is in my giant war of bullshit? This, no, I don't know where I put it, but this actually has its uh, RAID card, so I could, in fact, RAID the hard drives together. But this is something I would actually recommend. You just throw Windows 10 on it, 
grab Feed the Beast or a regular Minecraft server, and you can have this working. It does not have audio. You would have to install an audio card if you wanted it. You cannot install video cards on this. I'm not, or well, you cannot, ex you know, install better than like a one giga gigabyte, not gigahertz video card onto this. But it works. And not only does it work, it works very well as a Minecraft server. And also you could turn it into a home media server very easily. Like I said, just install Windows 10 and turn on the file sharing options and boom. So yeah, if your kid wants, or you or your kid, I'm a big kid, want a Minecraft server that does what you want, um, that is easy to afford and throw together, because you can upgrade this. You could get a old graphics card if you wanted and throw this in here, or cut down a newer graphics card and make it work in there technically, though I'd never recommend that, because you may never know when you want everything to be in original condition. But yeah, just take a look at it if you're looking for a Minecraft server. It is incredibly easy to maintain, repair, and upgrade, and while the T1102 is more expensive, generally speaking, the motherboard in compa er, is compatible with everything in here. Like, so I can later, if I want, just get a new motherboard. I think I'd have to get a new processor, but just throw it all together, and it can hold up to 32 gigs of RAM. There is a BIOS update for this that you'll want to do. Um, I don't remember what it does, but you'll want to do it anyway. I do need to clean this out. It is a nice thing. It is a very nice thing. So, yeah, this is basically it. I might suggest doing a lot more maintenance on yours if you get one. Because I'm not using this one. I will clean it if I ever go to use it. But, you know, great, uh, great fun. You might even have fun setting it up or setting up the server with your kid. I'm a weirdo. I have fun setting up computers. So, I hope it helps if you are looking for a good, cheap, home Minecraft server. Because then with something like Hamachi, you can set this up and he can play with his friends wherever. And you can also make sure that no one you don't want gets on the server. So, there you go. Safe, secure, and inexpensive. I hope that helps someone. So, till next time, peace.